Today on Two Crazy Ketos, it's another full day of eating. So let's get this day started right, right after, after this. this. So we are going to get this day started with a little zip fizz roulette as long as I don't get this one right here, which is grape. I think I'll be okay. So let's see, I'm gonna close my eyes. And this morning is sponsored by, ooh, Limon. Limon Zip Fizz. It's gonna be a great day. Good morning, everybody. It is 5 a.m., which is exactly when Miss Charity wants to cuddle and snuggle and be super vocal either in your lap or at your bedroom door. So I'm up and enjoying my lemon zip fizz. Actually drinking it out of a mason jar is my favorite way to drink a zip fizz. Fun fact. And I am continuing to read this book, Destined to Rain by Joseph Prince. I am loving it. But before I finish reading, I have to do a little bit more petting because she will not be satisfied until she gets all of her purrs out. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, sometimes we do full day of eatings. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah, I'm going to have a crick in my neck because i got to turn it to the side so that we can see Rachel. I look like I'm coming out of your neck, and I'm pretty sure I have like let's stick on my You know, we keep saying five new videos every week, but lately it's been like seven or eight. Because we can't wait to talk to you. Yeah, we gotta calm down. I'm getting tired. I'm burning the candle at both ends. It's what? What is today? Wednesday? No, it's Thursday. Thursday. It's Thursday. I think I've had about 11 hours sleep since Saturday. Total. I'm sorry. So we're going to work. I have some work. Rachel has some work. We're gonna try to do a full day eating, but I feel like garbage. We'll talk about that one a little later. It is definitely time to clean my office. I don't know what happens. I clean it and then my office becomes the dumping ground for I don't know where this goes. That's what we're gonna be doing when we get home from work today. Cleaning my desk so that I can actually work. So Rachel still hasn't had any coffee, but today I'm making coffee. I think she'll drink it if I make it. Oh, yes. That's gonna sound and smell good. We all know I am terrible at sewing, but I am enjoying playing around with fabric paint. So I just made this fat chick, get it, fat chick, because I eat fat um, shirt. And I think I'm going to put on the back, butter not mess with me. Ha <laughs> ha. So my keyboard's not working right. No matter what I do, it lights up, sort of but I can't switch over to the Bluetooth on this one. And I have work to do. Fortunately, I think I have some backups. Yes, I do. The good old fashioned trusty wired keyboard. Guess that's what we're using until we figure out what's going on with the wireless one. Sometimes it's just better to go old school. We can type again. Let's get this poured before Rachel finishes getting dressed. I ordered the gum base so that we could try to make our own gum. Yes. And I had to, no, I didn't make gum yet. Oh, I was like, but there was like a them? coupon. It was like 30% off, but you had to spend $40. So I was $5 short of it. So it was cheaper to just buy this. Wow. Glee gum, xylitol sweetened. So we got to keep 
this one behind me out yeah. of it. My understanding is it tastes really good, but it's like worse than a chiclet as far as flavor lasting. It's gonna be like, oh, let's try it. I've got it right here. Ugh. I could finish this entire box today probably, but I, I won't, but I won't. I think it's one carb per piece. This is two carbs, two sugar alcohols. But yeah, so. Lot. All right, let's you don't see. want to eat the whole box in a day. It's like matches my sweater. It's like flesh toned. <laughs> Glee gum. Well, our serving size is two pieces. Okay. So yeah, one carb per piece. Yep. And the flavor's probably gone. It's about gone. <laughs> that is so weird. It's like a burst of sugary taste and then nothing. What are we going to drink on the way to work? I want one of these so bad, but... I don't think so. I feel like garbage today. It is a Zevia Energy Day. We got mail and wait until you see how adorable the mail is today. We got some ornaments for our subscriber Christmas tree. These are coming to us from my bestie Beth. She's in our Facebook family group. Um, I am always trying to get her to open up an Etsy store. She is so talented. She could just craft anything, whereas I can't sew a lick. I mean, she is just so precise and can sew, and she's just really talented. I love her. Um, so, but this is, look at this, a Stormtrooper coffee mug, a girly one. Of course, we have to have the bow. I love the little blush on the cheeks, on the back of her ornaments. She's got with love from Beth. Like, how cute is this? But they're squishy. So fun. The next one is a stick of butter. How cute is that? And she's so precise. She's got eight tablespoons of butter. I love it. In glitter. That makes everything better, doesn't it? Like glitter just makes everything better. But I cannot stand like how squishy this is. I'm going to mess with these all day long. I'm telling you what. The next one Look how adorable this is. An avocado nativity scene. How cute is that? I am like obsessed with little baby avocado Jesus. That is just the cutest thing. I even like this star. Look at that. That is so cute. Let's see. And finally, we've got avocado joe and Rachel. We've got our little Santa hats on. I love his little glasses the bacon ribbon and the, the little hard boiled egg um, at the top. I mean, is this just like the most adorable thing ever? Thank you so much, Miss Beth. We just absolutely love these. I think it's time to clean my car. It's amazing what a camera could pick up. It doesn't look like that from out here. At least not that bad. Every month in our Facebook family group, we have a different monthly theme and the theme for October is thank or treat. So every day this month, we're either going to be thanking somebody in our life, you know, maybe writing them a card or something or uh, treating them. And today I am treating somebody to a new kitchen towel and new oven mitt. These I got at Walmart. They were only 88 cents a piece. It wasn't expensive, but I am bringing them um, with me to meet a good friend at church. She's going to be helping me pack treat bags for our upcoming volunteer um, Halloween party. I don't know what's going on with the gas prices, but for the last two weeks, they have been so volatile, like up and down 20 cents over like a day or two. Yesterday, that said $2.17. Today, $2.46. Let us know down below, what are your gas prices? What are you guys currently paying for gas? Because it seems like we're creeping back up towards $3 again. So Anthony doesn't know this, but since we got an early day, we're going to clean out the truck. Yes, it's definitely time to clean out this truck. I think we'll be taking the seat covers off, at least the front, because they're disgusting. So I'm on my way home to meet Joe. We're supposed to go to Sawgrass Mills Mall to replace some Crocs that Tabitha ate when someone came to visit us. On one hand, I feel like Joe would be like, good job, Tabitha, because Crocs are terrible, but still not okay, Tabitha. Wow, what a difference. Seat covers are off, leather conditioner on the seat, and you can even see the back seat. Love it. 
So I can see Joe is already home, but I am actually going to make one last final stop at my mom's house before I go home because I want you guys to see the epic thrift store haul we got yesterday. Oh my gracious, our favorite store for a couple of hours had all of their things that were $5 or under on sale for $1. And I mean, they already have really good clothes priced at very, very reasonable thrift store prices. I mean, sometimes this stuff is new, brand new with the tag still on it and they will sell it for three, four or $5. But yesterday they outdid themselves. So I'm gonna go inside and let me show you some of the awesome things that we got yesterday. So Tabitha has an entire bucket of toys. Yet what's her favorite toy? The fact that Rachel started drinking plastic water bottles again. So I can always count on Boaz to greet me very vigorously. He is so excited to see me. This dog has not been going hungry, y'all. Like, oh my gracious, he's a hunk of chunk. But he's so friendly. Okay guys, here I am at my mom's house and oh my gracious, wait until you see what we got. And this isn't even everything. My mom, who is so awesome, is still washing all of the stuff that we got yesterday. So um, here first up, we've got like this Batman onesie, which is so fun. I was just in Walmart earlier this week and they were starting to sell the onesies and they were more than $20 on their own, but we paid $1. Then we've got some Star Wars shirts from the Disney store. Um, there's a gray and white striped uh, Abercrombie and Fitch, or I'm sorry, American Eagle shirt in the back there, as well as an Ocean's Pacific hoodie, which was really fun. Uh, I've got a Grammar Police t-shirt because I've definitely been accused of being part of that police force right there in the past. That's okay, I'm proud of it. Um, we've got Disney princesses as zombies on leggings, which I thought was just really fun. That's a total Rachel thing right there. As well as this zombie um, shirt from Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios Orlando. I'm sure that someone paid way more than the dollar I paid for that shirt. Um, this shirt I thought was fun. It was like a color blocking shirt that really is, um, you know, slimming and attractive. We've got a Abercrombie and Fitch button down uh, shirt back there, which I just thought would be great for putting underneath sweaters. I know it's Florida. I know that there's no reason for me to be wearing a sweater, but it's happening. I want to. I thought this was cute for church. It's a world changer t-shirt. And then look at this Batman shirt. Every time you lift your arms, there's a cape underneath and glitter. I thought this shirt was really cute. It just says, yay which is probably something that I say on the regular. <laughs> then for Christmas, I know I probably don't need another Christmas shirt, but it was so sweet, this little just like present on this shirt. And in the back there is another Abercrombie and Fitch long sleeved shirt. I just thought it was really cute. It goes with everything. Navy is the greatest, right? Um, then there's this uh, zigzag Lily Pulitzer sweater, which I thought was very fun and festive. And I just, obviously I am way into stripes as I'm looking <laughs> at the things that I picked out. I love stripes. I think because for so long I was like, I can never wear a stripe. I need to wear all black and no stripes. And now I'm like, I'm gonna wear what I want. Um, here is a hard rock t-shirt. These mean a lot to me because my dad, whenever he would go on a business trip, would always bring me home a hard rock t-shirt. So when I saw this one from Barcelona there and it's in absolutely brand new condition, I thought I gotta have that just to remember my dad. We were actually doing this shopping trip yesterday, which was the fifth anniversary of my dad's passing. And I'm just really glad that I got to spend it with my mom and we just got to share some fun times together. I think um, my dad would really love that, just us being together. Um, here we have some pajama pants. 
We have this with like a boat neck kind of nautical again with the stripes, Rachel. Oh my gracious, obsessed. And then finally, uh, we've got a sweater here from Old Navy, which is just super cute and comfortable. And I am sure it was way over a dollar. So there's lots more shirts that are in the um, washer still, but I just wanted to give you a glimpse of what we got. Ooh, look what came in the mail today. It's Keto Crate. Let's go see what Rachel's doing. We need to paint our front door. Rachel, yes, sir. look what came in the mail. It's a keto crate. Crates. Keto crates. Well, this is perfect. I'm wearing my zombie shirt. This is October. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to go take a shower. We're going to open this thing up. You'll find the video right up here over Rachel's head. Over here? Yeah, we'll put it up there. Still, I haven't gotten to cleaning this up yet. Some point I will. You should see how clean my car is. Did you clean your car? Yeah, you wanna go see it? Yes, it smells like a coffin usually. Yeah, so we uh, got home from work early and so I told Anthony, guess what? We're cleaning the car. Shouldn't you rest if you got home from work early? No, because the car was disgusting. It's always kind of shady looking. What? Oh my gosh. Look. I actually have seeds. Wow. Are you safe to take off the covers or you're washing? They need to go in the wash. It's It really smelled like grim death before because sweaty guys either going to a game or going to cut grass. Look, you can see the back seat. Oh my goodness. There's so much more room for activities. We're shooting a video. With a dessert. I think it's a dessert. PBH Foods. We're helping this awesome couple rebrand themselves. Comes out tomorrow, which is today for you. We are in love with their story. So we have to run to the mall because Tabitha ate somebody's shoes. Yeah. I told them earlier that you were probably at one point thinking like, good job, Tabitha, because Crocs are terrible. What do you expect? It's a rubber thing and they were left next to her cage. But it's still not okay for people to come and visit us and we destroy their property. So yep. we will replace those. So we're gonna go get new Crocs, but unfortunately we're not gonna be able to vlog because Anthony's coming with us and he doesn't wanna be in our video. He's like, no! Although I already shot him once today. Here we go! That's where we gotta go. Because our dog likes to eat shoes. This is way safer than going to Sawgrass Mills Mall though because of the store we will not speak of. No, loves. I'm just gonna go there without you tomorrow. <sighs> so it is so dangerous for me to come to the mall. I totally don't need this, but I need this. Look at this Hogwarts alumni, please. A backpack, yes, we need this. I had to fight her, but we bought it. She's like a five-year-old. She can't even get out of the store before taking it out to play with her toys. I can't. Gotta wear it now. So it's seven o'clock at night and I still haven't gotten around to cleaning my office. Maybe I'll do it tonight. Well, I know it's seven o'clock and the only thing we've eaten today is sampling those cakes. Uh, but in order to make dinner, I need to make mayonnaise for our egg salad. So I think it's time for an impromptu, so easy Rachel can make it. Let's go. Can't eat until you make mayonnaise. All right, well then I'm making mayonnaise. Okay, you've never made this before, right? I have never made this. You've okay. always made this. Super easy, we're going in a mason jar. And we have our uh, blending stick. So drop that one egg without, without the shell into the main, <laughs> into the jar. No promises. Try not to break the yolk. Look at me. Good job. Okay, now take one cup of avocado oil. Now you, this will work with regular oil. We're just making it with avocado oil. Do you have to drizzle it special? Nope, just put it in there. That's it. Okay, now we got apple cider vinegar and we have lemon juice. One teaspoon of each. There we do. And you can use two teaspoons of each one of them or of one of them and eliminate the other if you want. No, we want both. I think it tastes best with having both, the apple cider vinegar and the lemon juice. It's nice and tangy, but not too tangy. That uh, mustard over there, mm -hmm. about a teaspoon. I don't know how much is left. Just give it a nice squirt. Oh, not outside of the jar. Oh. That's probably about a teaspoon. 
quarter teaspoon of salt. Try not to get it all over the counter. Just look at that. Like a champ. Let me get you a towel. Thank you. Okay, super easy now. Take your blending stick. Okay. Carefully put it down on the bottom and try to trap the egg underneath the blades. Just like that. I did it. Now you're gonna like kind of just like pulse it. <laughs> Keep going. Move your hands so that everybody can see it. And you're gonna slowly raise it up to the top. Now, that, now you can start running it and slowly pull it up. Now lift it up. Lift, 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 lift. Now, now, lift, now back down. Now one up again. Yeah. Okay, stop, turn it off. Take, pull it out, try to get the oil underneath. Now go back down. Turn it on. And you're done. It is starting to look like mayonnaise. Look at that. You're done. You made mayonnaise. It's done? You're done. Oh my gosh. Look, Are you serious? Look at that, yep. If there's a little bit of oil on top, you can kind of just do that and then go back down. You're done. That is amazing. Now you can just get it out of there and you're all done. Awesome. Plus I get to taste it this way. Let's taste it. That's yeah, good. So is that really so easy that even Rachel can make it or what? Even Rachel can make it. Back from the mall. And I've already put my jammies on. It's like 740. We have not eaten. I woke up this morning feeling like garbage because we made the mistake of eating Win Dixie Wings lately. Man, lesson learned. We've said in the past, like, we're never ordering those again. And then convenience and just wanting quick chicken wings, yep. like, makes us go and order those. But, like, no, I didn't feel great this morning either. I This day of eating almost turned into a day of Joe fasting. Right. That would have been funny. <laughs> but, yeah, I just woke up. I felt, like, bloated. I was literally up nine pounds from yesterday. I'm up four. And that's obviously not right. I saw myself in the face. Now I'm already down six pounds. So obviously not eating today and was helped me get rid of a bunch of water because those wings, it's I'm telling you, it's just that they're cooked in canola oil and uh, not making me feel good. So I am done. I know we keep saying I'm done, but I am done. We're I am done, not done. eating wings unless I've made them myself or we got them from Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. So we showed you your purse, you know, that you got your yes. little backpack. She fought me. She didn't want to get it. And I'm like, you're getting it. Well, I wanted it, but I hate spending money. <laughs> so I got a couple of things. Let's show what I got. Rachel complains that my truck smells. It's bad, So we ran into Yankee Candle. Oh, they're all in my car, but the air fresheners were on sale for a dollar. So, so we bought a bunch of them. So me and Anthony did not know that you're not supposed to take the air freshener out of the package. Yes, of course. You're supposed to just... Like, take a little bit of it. It makes it last longer. Out of the plastic sleep. But that looks so gross. Like, doesn't that look che like cheesy? And then we got a few of these because these were on sale for $3. And they kind of smell good, especially around the litter box. Oh, my gosh. Yes. And then I ran into Express because Anthony got his shoes for, like, you know, his friend. Mm -hmm. And uh, got this cool hoodie. And... I dropped one. It's but sort of on the hanger. And sort it's of on the hanger wrong, but this hoodie was like $50 marked down to, without getting it in your food, yes, marked down to like $20 and then 50% off of that. I love deals like that. Yeah. And then I got this cool shirt, which was the same thing. I think that, oh, I don't know where the tag is. Oh, here's the tag. This was $50 marked down to 30 and then 50% off of that. And I had a $10 coupon. And you still didn't beat my thrift store haul. No, I didn't. But these are pretty cool shirts. Very nice. So so let's go over what we're going to eat real quick. So again, this is kind of like an OMAD. But I'm going to take like at least an hour to eat this. Because I've learned my lesson with trying to... Or probably more than an hour. I've learned my lesson. Okay, so for me... Is that balls on your plate? I've got balls. So we did today's chicken popper recipe... But I used ground beef because I happened to have it defrosted. So um, it probably needed more ground beef. I used a pound and a half for the ground beef, like because you do lose so much of the fat that's in there. 
and they kind of swelled shut. So they kind of exploded a little bit. Mine didn't. Mine stayed nice. But yeah, so I probably it would have worked better with ground beef with two pounds. But <laughs> still, we've got some egg salad. I've got four eggs. It's got salt in it, some of the Trader Joe's, everything but the bagel. And the mayonnaise that I made. And mayonnaise that you saw Rachel make. And then on top of some greens. And then this is a Gouda cheese that we got at Whole Foods. I can't wait to see if it's Gouda. And it was like three chili spice or three chili pepper piece. I hope I taste food again after we eat it. Then I've got three peanut butter keto bricks. Pucks. And yeah, pots. It's it's each one of those is 125 calories. And then because I just don't want to cook anymore, I've got a vanilla keto chow, four tablespoons of butter, and ten drops of the Captain Crunch um, berry um, OOO flavor. It's supposed to be like the Captain Crunch berry one. Remember the berry Captain Crunch? Yes, I do. I don't know what it tastes like. Is that going to cut the roof of your mouth? <laughs> And the dog is moving the camera. Okay, so for Rachel, you have... Just two balls. You have two balls. Two That's balls. what you're supposed to have, two balls, right? Two balls. You don't want three balls. You're abnormal. So then you've got an ounce of the cheese. I have an ounce and a half of this cheese. Three eggs, two tablespoons of our mayonnaise. My on mayonnaise. On top of greens. Your you're mayonnaise. About, what are you talking about? Our. And then she's got the... Chocolate peanut butter keto chow, which I'm loving, and um, I'm not gonna drink it like this. Y'all know how I'm gonna you're turn gonna mix it with a bunch of ice. ice cream, and then that's got three tablespoons of butter. I always put an ex a, one tablespoon less in the chocolate peanut butter because it's higher in calories because it's got peanut uh, flour in it, which makes it higher in fat. It's also like higher in deliciousness. Okay, so my because we're again reverse diet. I really would like this reverse diet to stop because then the scale will stop. <laughs> but actually, I'm not too bad. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much holding steady except for when I'm getting sick like this, you know, because I ate the wrong kind of fats. Um, I've been have, holding steady at like 187. Who would have thought that if we do the right thing, the right thing happens? Yeah. Again, we're not going off plan. It's just I don't do well with inflammatory oils. I, apparently, I don't either. So when I haven't eaten chicken wings, I've been the same, like yep. 146. Yep. And that's pretty good considering we're increasing calories every week. And last night, first night since Saturday, I had five hours of sleep last night. I think I was actually doing real, I think I even had more than that. But I went to bed at like 10.30, I fell asleep. Somebody's alarm went off at 3 a.m. I think it was yours. It I was don't know not. why. It was not. But there was I an alarm ringing at 3. Then, yeah, so I, I fixed that, I went back to bed, then your alarm went off at five. I don't know why. We didn't have to go anywhere today. I, I needed to, to pray and read. And then went back to bed. And then the cat, when you leave in the morning, take the cat with you. I try, but sometimes she's like, no, I'm going to hang back a little bit. But she's super annoying. The second you close that door, she sits at the door and scratches. It's really annoying. So that, I finally threw a pillow at her because I didn't want to get out of bed. So I think I ended up with like, I got five good hours of sleep. and High then five. And, and then, that's and like then a an hour or two on, but Saturday night got an hour, Sunday night got an hour, Monday night got like two hours. So that's not good. I did good. So that's probably not helping my weight loss, but I'm trying to get back on track. The website's up, it's working. We're still going to do more improvements, but going good. So anyway, calories, 2,162 for the week. That's what I'm at right now. 174 grams of fat, 133 grams of protein, and 15 carbs. And I am at 1,611 calories. Wow. 131 grams of fat, 92 grams of protein, and 15 carbs. So, cool. And by the way, you are missing 180 calories because we did do like a bunch of videos today where we ate some food from keto boxes and stuff like that. So I took that off. I appreciate that. So that is our video for today. Let us know what you guys thought of our full day of eating and what kind of foods do you like to eat when you do an OMAD? Yeah, right. Because like you want it to be balanced. Yeah. You know, a little bit of green, a little bit of everything. Yep. Yeah. So like I said, this day, keto chow makes it easy because there's 12 of them made and I don't have to cook anymore. But this got thrown together in 10 minutes, so. I love that. So, Well, that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Bye. Bye. And in case you're wondering, it's midnight, and I got half of the office clean.